All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's topic is going to be about the uh, Metro UI ribbon that's in the Windows Explorer. Um, a lot of people um, have been saying that they don't mind it. The others have said that it's an annoyance. Um, it doesn't serve any purpose unless it was on a tablet touch-based PC. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can go ahead and help the ones that don't enjoy it and would rather the old uh, Explorer bar um, interface uh, opposed to the Metro UI ribbon that's always shown. Um, so uh, back into the desktop, if you guys notice, there is that ribbon that you guys see. Uh, that ribbon uh, can be somewhat of a nuisance because it takes up um, some space. Um, those that don't mind it uh, either don't mind it for the very reason that they might use it or that they don't mind it because this little arrow actually minimizes the ribbon and hides it completely. Um, but if those people that do not like it um, are compelled to go back to the old um, interface, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how. So uh, for the first start, uh, I have a little link that has to take ownership. What I'd like you to do is to go ahead and click it, open it, and just click on the install take ownership uh, registry key press yes and then press OK. After that what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and look for the UI ribbon. You can type it in. Um, you go to the Windows uh, C then into Windows and then into System32. You look for that. Um, I'll go ahead and have that copied um, and then you go ahead and look for in the search bar ribbon UI ribbon and three options will come up. Uh, the only option that you want is this one right here. And what you do is you right click on it, you take ownership of it, um, CMD will come up, and what you do is you go ahead and rename it. Uh, and before you rename it, how about this? You go ahead and copy it, being that you have ownership, and you go ahead and go to the desktop and you paste it onto the desktop as a backup. Now back into the folder, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and rename it and you want to go ahead and just put in front old and it'll ask you to continue and such okay so you have a backup um, UI ribbon dot DLL is not inside the system 32 folder uh, the next step what you would do is to go ahead and restart your computer so restarting your computer would go ahead and change the effect of the um, Metro UI. Now, if you see my previous video, you would know that um, in accessories right here on the power menu um, options, you can go ahead and see it says restart Explorer if you don't want to go ahead and restart. Uh, go ahead and click that and Windows Explorer will go ahead and restart. And you click on the Windows Explorer and um, actually that doesn't show up does it uh, okay so go ahead and restart your computer and after that you go ahead and see the original uh, Windows Explorer bar and then you guys should be set and satisfied alright so if you guys like this video go ahead and thumbs up um, subscribe if you guys want more Windows 8 tricks uh, I'm trying to dedicate uh, my videos now to Windows 8 I'll go ahead and have other videos for Windows 7 but for the time being I want to go ahead and get very acquainted with Windows 8. So um, thumbs up, subscribe. I'm trying to work on a Windows partner so I can go ahead and customize my channel a lot better. I'm not trying to monotonize uh, on my channel, but just uh, trying to make it a lot more creative than you know the thumbnails that they give me to go ahead and present the video. So uh, like I said, um, enjoy and wait for the next video.